So let's uh, move on as far as, you know, we're all about employees with pain. You know, um, a lot of times uh, the paramedical category has really been about rescue-based or reactive-based things. And, you know, the things that we're doing with our virtual care platform include prevention and rescue together. Um, the sooner someone gets access to a healthcare professional, if they are in pain, the, the quicker they'll deal with it. And there's all these studies that are coming out that show people in pain typically also are experiencing depression and, mm -hmm. and things like that. And there's a big push, obviously, for mental wellness in the organization. I have a feeling that MSK is going to be the next EAP type program. Um, why, is, why is this important to the business? Well, it's important because it's expensive to have employees off work due to disability. Uh, it's, it's difficult to replace them. You can't fire them. It's against the law. Uh, you have to still offer them benefits, support them, and accommodate them. Um, so keeping employees healthier is better for the employees and their health outcome and better for the business's bottom line. Yeah. Um, so when it, when it comes to, you, know, you have a great point about secondary disabilities. Mm -hmm. So picture this. You have an employee who goes off due to a back pain issue. Maybe they're a lower income earner, they're incurring lots more expenses that they didn't have before. They've been prescribed new prescription drugs that aren't completely covered. And to boot, they're on long-term disability where they're only getting two-thirds of their income replaced. Gotcha. So they're making less money, their expenses are higher, and now their physiotherapy maximum just run out. And we're telling them, you, you should really go see somebody. It's, it's not a great solution, the, the, the way that the plans work right now. Yeah, no employer, I think, wants to abandon their employees this way. It's just as, This is how the plans are designed. Yep. This is a big machine that's moving in this direction. So um, kind of bringing it back to virtual care. You know, there's lots of different flavors for virtual care right now. It's a, just an emerging kind of market where, you know, the, the initial players were, let's talk to, you can talk to a doctor whenever you want that you don't have to go to emergency kind of to, to see to get a prescription in some cases. 